Welcome back guys, today I'll be showing you how to make 100k on a low budget. So if you're new around here and you don't have any coins and you want a team like mine, you are in the right place. Now remember guys, we're giving away 9 sets of FIFA points, all copies of EAFC to 9 lucky winners. All you've got to do is subscribe and send me proof over on Instagram and you'll be entered into the giveaway. Now if you do want to get some coins in a little bit of a quicker way, well... So if you guys are sick of losing at FIFA because your team isn't good enough or you're not good enough at the game, then right now you need to head over to skycoach.gg. Not only can they coach you in your weekend league or play your games for you, you can buy any amount of coins you want and all of the services get 10% off right now with the code pro recall go check them out below make sure to click the link in the description and let's get into it now to start off the video and give you an opportunity for an extra copy of EAFC or FIFA points I'm gonna open these four packs if we get a player above 50k I'll add an extra copy pack one is a no double 84 though isn't too bad Pack two is I think a no yeah no pack numero three I can't say. I don't even know what it is. Uh, oh, Laporte, 86, 85. Okay, I mean, I'm happy. You guys probably aren't. And the El Finale, we've got eight, 80 times two. I can't, I'm retarded. Uh, that's definitely an L as well, isn't it? Sorry, guys. EA hate ya. So, guys, we're going to start off with a filter, which should have been playing the obvious as soon as Giroud came out. I don't know how I didn't think of this before, but we're looking at Magnan and Giroud. Someone tweeted out something about selling Magnan and buying Giroud, and it made me realize they literally are exactly the same for a filter, which is perfect because we can make a ton of coins off these. Now, Giroud is going for around 17,000 coins. EA tax on that is around the 900 coin mark, roughly. Um, so, it's a little bit less than that. But if you go at 16K, you'll be making around 200. If you go at maybe 50 750 you're looking at around sort of four or five hundred coins which is a much better mark to be sniping at now i've tested the filter there will be a few coming up they are going fast so you are going to have to get your best sniping fingers on deck it might be one where compare price is a better option or potentially bidding so i've had some comments recently saying can we have a look at more bidding filters a lot of the filters i do you will be able to bid and i can't believe we got the first one because i was struggling before and um, but a lot of the filters that i do have a look at we can bid on it's just i like to snipe in the video i think it's a little bit more entertaining but if you were to go uh, and go for max price for example and let's say i think if you're bidding you want to go for a little bit less so let's say 15k there is a ton of magnans um, and then you will find the occasional Giroud. So if we bid this one up to 12 to 50, we'll bid this one up to 13K. You don't want to make it all the same. Um, you want to vary the bids so that people aren't going to think they're battling the same person. I know that sounds silly, but people are awful vindictive in this community and everyone hates each other. So you don't want someone thinking they can ruin your day uh, by outbidding you because they will. If they realize it is all one person, they absolutely will. So of course, guys, today we are on a lower budget. So we are looking at around the max of 20k and this filter is also perfect for that so we've got special syria and roma for the last one you didn't want to put a quality on it but for this one you want to put special now this means you've got lukaku and a war both of these are comparable at below 20,000 coins. So if you've came to this video with next to nothing, don't worry, we got you. Now, looking at this, it seems like a war is going for 20K, which means obviously we want to snipe that little bit under. So let's just have a look where he's lying. It does seem like there's not many at 19. And 20K seems to be the mark. Obviously, EA tax on that is going to be 1,000 coins. So let's just see where they're at. There's a few there at the 19 mark, but we're going to have to snipe him at 18 in order to make a profit. And we almost got one straight away. That would have been a lovely start to the filter. But you can see he's coming up, and at least we've seen that there definitely is the availability for him. You've obviously got Lukaku as well. And the reason I think Lukaku is definitely going to be coppable on this one is because no one wants Lukaku. He is absolutely useless in game. So a lot of people are going to be selling very quickly. Although he's a little bit of a higher rated in form, I don't think there's much desire to be getting a Lukaku. So hopefully. Hopefully, that does lead uh, to some big snipes on him as well as part of the filter and not just me missing a load of awards. I'm going to say, I say I miss it and then immediately get one, but clearly not. Next up, we're going to be looking at Chelsea Silver Rare Defenders. We're going to do Gold Rare, but they only have two and the minimum for Thiago Silver is basically his price, so we can't actually do that. But if we have a look on this one, we've got Saar here, as you can see, who I think has a little bit of a value. You've also got Matteson as well. And if we just have a look, is there many others on there? We've got Matteson, we've got Colwell, and we've got Saar. Now, realistically, for this one, perfect for bidding, guys. If you put this to about, I'd say, 550, and we can have a look here. Okay, so all of them are obviously worth a little bit more. So let's work out what they're actually worth before we do the bidding price. Let's have a look. 850, none there. So they're all going for about a K. So I would say if you want to bid, you want to put this up at about 600 coins, you can 
good on every single card. You'll probably win a fair few, um, because I don't think a lot of people are going to be going for these. I think this is more of a Chelsea fans um, outlook on this. And of course, you can put these in evolution, so that might be why they've got a bit of a value. So we've got Saar there. He seems to be the cheapest of the bunch. Can we get him at 900 coins? So you've got a few there at 900. So you want to be careful picking him up anything more. Now we can compare price here. The reason I would do that is because you might find yourself a Madison or a Caldwell coming up from this point. So we can do a little bit of compare price. See if we get one of them coming up. Also, if a SAR comes up, we're absolutely laughing. But because it is a silver filter, bidding is probably the way to go because there's not going to be as many on the market. They're not going to come up as much. So let's pop this to... I'd say 850. We're going to bid on SARS up to 700, I'd say, because you don't want to bid too much more on them. Whereas with the other, yeah, that was silly. That was a silly bid from me. Um, whereas with the other two, you can get away with bidding, I'd say up to, okay, 1.1K. I mean, if we have a look at Colwell, how how cheap can we get a Colwell? It doesn't seem to be many. It looks like 1.5, 2K maybe. Yeah, so realistically, this one here, let's bid this up a bit. I'd say maybe 1.5K, 1.4K. Um, we know he's going to sell on because there's literally none available anywhere else let's have a look so we can bid on these clearly there's not that many chelsea uh silver rare defenders on the market right now but it does mean that we can make a good profit if we get any of them so for this next one we're going to go for french we're going to go league one psg and gold rare now this filter if you actually have a look at it contains colo muani and hernandez now of course kimpembe in theory is under this filter so is Dembele and Mbappe none of them are going to come up of course but Mwani and Hernandez are both kind of around this value so you should be able to pick up Hernandez I think his minimum is 1.1k so you've got to be careful obviously his minimum is quite low so you want to check this before you do start sniping I think he's going for about 1.4 so there's a big there's a you know there's a decent gap of profit in there so 1.4 as you can see if you pick him up for I'd actually say 1.2 is probably the mark you want to be picking him up for selling him at 1.4 you're making 130 coins a snipe so it's not amazing it's not awful it's you know it's it's right it's me missing snipes again. But what you can do, if you pop the max price, I believe it can go 1.1. Let's have a look if we can 1.1 it. Let's have a look. It can. So what you can do is on the 1.1, you can bid on all of these and any of them is profit. So if you get them for 1.1, it's going to be a little bit extra. So it'll be about 200 coin profit. So it's not huge profit, but when you are working with less coins, it is actually a really good thing to do. Now, of course, I've got to talk about this when we are on a lower budget video. Managers are brilliant. So if we go over, there's a few nations that you can touch on. So first of all, Brazil is going to be a good one. Now, I believe these guys have gone up in value. So they are kind of sitting at the actual top of the budget right now. 5k, you can see a 4.9 there not great but if you monitor brazilian and i think it's french as well so french you can't get them. brazilian basically at the top of the price what you want to do is monitor these a little bit they will go up and down throughout the week they're not always going to be at that price so you can pick them up at 4k quite often and you're making a very decent profit now also you've got the likes of england and netherlands managers who if we go around the 2k mark you can see there's a few there if we knock it down a little bit further you should only have bronzes and silver. So if we get into the gold categories for these ones, let's have a look. Where are we sitting for the gold managers? So you've got a few there at the 1K mark. Let's have a look. 800 coins, 850. So it's a lower budget. It's not extremely low. It can still be, if we have a look here, we're probably looking 750 coins. So once again, brilliant for bidding. Absolutely unbelievable. In terms of managers, there is nothing easier to bid on. All you want to do is set the max price to 350 coins and you will get pages and pages of these. I found absolute field days on these last year and it was brilliant. Similarly, if you do Netherlands as well, if we have a look at the price for these bad boys, I think we're looking at probably about 2K. Yeah, so 2,000 coins, similar sort of situation. Absolutely easy to snipe for a start. There's 1.6 there. Let's do a bit of compare price and see if another one comes up. You can absolutely get ridiculous manager snipes very, very easily. And on top of that, bidding on them, it, it's as if no one else is even trying. It's so easy to win bids. I did it in a video last year and afterwards the results were unbelievable. I was so happy with the amount of coins I make because a lot of the times I'll do a video, make a decent bit big win and then obviously i'll just do the neck i can't even speak i will just do the methods that i use in the next video um, and i'll do them every day so i don't really try methods twice but the amount i made on the managers i came back to that quite consistently throughout the year because it was just so easy you don't really have to try it's easy to snipe them and when you can't snipe them you just pop the max price at maybe what for this one eight nine hundred coins and you will find an absolute time look, look how many pages of these not even any bids on most of these 
absolute easy picking. Now, if you're sat here thinking those methods were brilliant, I want more, or they weren't enough, I want more, don't worry, subscribe to the channel, you'll find an absolute ton. And if you didn't even enjoy the video, subscribe and you'll get yourself a chance to potentially win some FIFA points. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.